Jared James Nichols. God, that dude can play. That dude can play. I saw him like years ago at NAMM for the first time. I was like, who is that crazy long-haired Viking god of guitar? And his guitar with that single coil right down there. Not single coil, single pickup, I mean. Right down to the bridge. <laughs> I mean, when he plays, he is just so emotionless. He just sits there so still. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like... It was like it, it's like, I mean, it good like, lord. It was like watching The Last Kingdom. It's a guitar player. He's like a berserker. Fun fact, my, my good buddy Clark Singleton just posted. Apparently he's playing... I haven't even talked to him, but apparently he is playing... On a, on a session, I guess with with Jerry James Nichols, maybe he's putting out an album. That's crushing. I don't. It is pretty crushing. I meant to message Clark. Clark, if you're watching this, that's fantastic. You're um, even more my hero than you were before. That's that's cute. You have a hero. Clark is pretty. He's thought, hero worthy. I thought Derek was your hero, for different reasons. Okay. <laughs> totally, totally separate. So we're having a talk here about single coil guitars. Yes. Which one? If you could Not have single coil. Sing, God, why is single that? pickup? I've been drinking a lot this morning. I don't <laughs> Although know. technically, if it's a P90, it is a single coil. Which is, I'm a huge fan of. So single pickups, guitars, single pickups. why you need to have one. And if you did, which one would you have? So John, why, as I already started, you got an idea what I want. What do you want? An Esquire. Yeah, I thought that was coming. Billy Gibbons can't be wrong. Or Jeff Beck. Jeff who? <laughs> you know that guy. Oh, that guy. He was in the Yardbirds. Oh, yeah, the Yardbirds. That's all I know him for, too. I <laughs> right. saw Jeff Beck do a, um, God, like a Gretsch show in yeah. California once where he was like he was playing Gretsches and doing like a Dwayne Eddy tribute. Right. It was crazy. You're like, why can you play all every style of guitar? When I was there with James watching it, and then James was like, I'm going to leave and go to this Mexican dance club next door. I'm like, James, I, I get it. There's was, there was a bunch of beautiful women were going in there. I don't. There's. I totally get it. I get why. Well, if you <laughs> no saw No excuse. It. But, it's Jeff Beck. I, I, I thought... <laughs> I thought it was really funny, but um, yeah, there's Jeff Beck playing the Dwayne Eddy tribute. I was, I, even I, yeah, I, I thought it was amazing. Anyway, so Esquire, why Esquire? Well, first off, everyone knows the uh, the bridge pickups, the business end of a telly, anyways. Yeah, but I love that neck pickup. But yes, I, I mean it I, depends. I it depends on the neck pickup. I get you. I get you. But but I mean you know, years in Nashville, I don't think I ever switched pickup positions. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, you know, I might have touched the tone, but I don't think I left the bridge too often. But even with a single pickup, you still get, you got a three-way switch still. So you still got some, some variation, but you get all that sort of telly twang and bite and snarl yeah. with some different things you And when you get that you full throttle wiring in there, like, like that's, it's so much hotter. Well, and I have heard, I have heard wiser folks than us say that a good Les Paul is sort of like a telly on steroids. And I think when you hit that wide open position, you you sort of have a telly on steroids. Yes. And I just like the way fenders feel. I like the longer scale length. You know, one of the less the less wires, more tone. More Usually tone. is how it goes. Like straight pick up the signal to the amp. It, I get you. I, get, I love Esquires too. I just there's something about to me like magical. I just want a P90. If I got one pickup, P90s are cool. I want the P90. I don't want the, I don't want a normal humbucker. I don't want like a necessarily a single coil. Like if I had if I had to pick one. I'm getting like a Les Paul Special, Les Paul Junior of sorts, or any type of Les Paul with or an SG with a P90 stuck in there. Totally fine with that. What if? <laughs> what if there was a magic shop within Fender that could do custom things? They could build us an Esquire with a P90. Or what if, no, no. But what about the new Fender that's coming out? Uh, the, the, yeah, it's a. I think it's. Nah, I can't remember the name. No Bento or no. It is something like that. Not, we didn't even plan to talk about this. I know. It just, just happened. Of, it, just, it just got announced a, like a week or two yeah. ago. They did look then, cool. Um, they look cool. I'm, I'm going to get one. Of course. It's a, like a butterscotch looking yellow Telecaster with like a single P9 in it. Yeah. With volume. You know? <laughs> Done. Cool. Yeah. You know, like I'm that's cool um, that. It's like it's going to. And it's, it's Mexican built, so it's going to be somewhat affordable. Right. I, I mean, they're getting more expensive. Someone's like close to a thousand dollars. Relatively, <laughs> relatively. <laughs> does, does anybody remember? Does, is this just me? Does anyone remember back when, like, you know, like a basic Fender Telecaster was like four hundred something dollars? Yeah. Like four ninety nine was like your Mexican Tele, like the the standard is what it was called. A young version of me used to go lust after a what is it like the wine red? It was a standard. Yep. It was years ago. And I was just I like, know. oh, it was like the coolest guitar I'd ever seen. But anyways. Yeah, but no, no. Those, those, are, those, those days are long gone now. So but, one pickup yeah. guitars. Back to what we're talking about. So you would go, you'd go Gibson. I think I would. Yeah, I just. So why? Other than it's just freaking cool. Well, I mean, obviously because it's freaking cool. But there's the, 
even with the, the P9, I feel like the P90 lives in that Gibson so yeah, well. It does. And, you know, cause I, I, I love P90 SGs. I think they sound great. I like a P90 in like the Les Pauls. I love the R4s. Yep. You know, and I could live with an R4 without the neck pickup sometimes. So do you buy into, I've heard, heard people say, um, and I even think that Phil X is a proponent of this. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm Phil wrong. Phil who? Phil X. <laughs> I'm just doing this to see. Of course you know Phil X is. He's amazing. Jeff Beck's cousin. No, I don't know. Um, but, uh, wow, I was like, really? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. So I've heard people say that something about that neck pickup, the pull, affects right. the tone. Do you buy into that? I, I've, yes, I do, but I, don't, I, I can't quantify it, but I think there has to be something to it. It's, and that's... And I think I've heard people argue both ways that like some, some people, people like the neck even if they're never going to even use a pickup. So like, we know people put the pickups in there and had it not wired. Don't wire it in. Them. Yeah, just to have the pull on the strings. There's definitely something to it. Like I, I have not had enough experience to like with the single pickup guitars like back and forth. Like this is definitely what I hear. I think that's true for me too. I just get so excited when I get an Esquire or any single pickup type of instrument in my hands. I'm just like this is so much fun. I know. And I've I've never owned a single pickup guitar. Maybe yeah, we need to own single pickup guitars. There's room for that. I, we have to. For I do that, that Telestar that's sitting over there behind Derek. Oh, yeah. It's um, it's a it's a <laughs> 1960s Japanese like Sears and Robux terrible guitar. I, I mean, stuck a P90 on it. It didn't come with a P90. I can tell that maybe that was not <laughs> factory, well, not original. It had this spec. horrible pickup in it that was just not the right thing, and it didn't work anymore. It's, I kind of feel like we need to show them. Uh, well, do I need to show yeah, them? Just grab the Telestar. Okay. It's, it's it's um. Whoa, it's really light. It weighs nothing. This is an old Japanese piece. <laughs> I like weird guitars. It's, I can't, this is part of, um, yeah, it, it, this was not I mean, the original piano. Cool. It's a cool guitar. I mean, well, so when I got this, it was in pieces because one of my wife's friends was getting ready to move to Korea. He's like, I can't take this guitar with me. <laughs> but it was literally in pieces. The electronics were in a bag. The pickup was in a bag. The bridge was in a bag. The, this was not here. Easy access to the, uh, it's, <laughs> to it's, the neck adjustment. It's like an ultra, a Fender Ultra. It was, they were very forward thinking. Elite. That, so that's, that's that. Sorry. The neck is like so small in that thing, it's insane. And it's got a really weird headstock angle. But no, I, I do but love, anyway. there's something about just a, a Gibson with that, that throaty snarl. Like I feel like the Fender <laughs> doesn't yeah. quite get it, even with That's the probably true. There's something That's probably true. with that, just that mahogany body. It just does something. Shorter, yeah, a little shorter bit. scale. Wrong. I like a Fender scale, like I'm all about like, you know, you know I like Languidox, which is pretty much like a Gibson body and a right. Fender neck, sort of like hybrid. That's why like, you know, I get why the killer's guitar player does that a lot with his guitar. Yeah. It's like Fender necks on Gibson type bodies. Weird. Because um, it, it's we get more of a snap and aggressive pop with yeah. it. The the thump of like the Gibson sort of goes away and you add a little bit of that Fender snap. So I, I see that. So I, I like Frankenstein's too. Um, that's something you can talk to Sean about. <laughs> he can oh, do what? and he'll put you like a delay pedal in there or something. <laughs> oh, oh, it would be great. Amp. That's, anyway, so. yeah, that's kinda of, I just I, I love the way Gibson can sort of handle that. And but there's other guitars too. There's like, you know, there's anything from all these boutique makers out there that are doing it as well. Yeah, single pickup stuff. Which I'm a big fan uh, of. Absolutely. I would take them all though. Honestly, I'm not like saying like, oh, I, I wouldn't want an Esquire. I love Esquires. But I'd probably get like, you know, a Gibson first. I mean, then, then there's the old like sort of older variety, pointier, super stratty, like Kramers and things that had the one. You remember those things? Yes, when I had my little hair metal band for a minute, like that, and Peter had a few of those. And Did he? Like, yeah. That doesn't had, surprise me. That makes that he, makes sense. He had, he had the coolest guitars. I like think he sold most. That's of That's awesome. I mean, he had like some some like winger like type guitars. Just Floyd and Humbucker. That's oh all. Oh my god, they were so good. Anything, anything that CC Deville played, <laughs> priceless in my opinion. And I love CC Deville. So CC, if you're out there anywhere, like huge fan. Um, but yeah, I think that's that kind of sums up. I'd like to hear what people think. You know, on their I would own, too. Because. We need more guitars, more guitar talk. Yes. I'm thrilled to talk about single coil pickups. Single pickups. Single pickup guitars. Oh, I can't do it. It's like the 13th <laughs> time I've done that. We both agree, though, that's cool, and we need more of them. Um, and we want to play more of them. So, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Do you need two pickups? Do you like two pickups? Does it matter about the context? I think maybe sometimes rock and roll lends itself to that because you're just boss of the ball, full throttle, maybe blues, you want the neck pickup. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Hit like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the bell so you don't miss these wonderful chats that we have. Fireside uh, chats that's, with Jonathan that's and right. Baxter. Is that what presidents do? Yes. Okay, cool. And on that note, see you guys later. <laughs>